Hello, it's Helder here, and today I want to talk to you about this Orbit 960 dash cam made by My Gecko Gear. I am familiar with My Gecko Gear because I own a body cam that is made by them, and it performs very well. I recently purchased a new vehicle, a new truck, and I definitely wanted a dash cam for it. I went on to the My Gecko Gear site, saw that they had this one, liked the specs, decided to pick it up. And if you want to know more about this Orbit 964K dash cam, stay tuned. When I went through the specs on this Orbit 960, uh, what really drew me to it was that it is Ultra HD 4K camera. It has a 2.7 inch LCD screen, built in Wi-Fi and built in GPS, which is certainly ideal uh, for a dash cam because it has given you crucial information that you need, which I found those features to be critical, at least for my needs. Uh, it's very simple to use. You have all sorts of navigation buttons that uh, you can go ahead and cycle through, uh, firmware updates, uh, formatting your SD card, connecting your Wi-Fi, connecting your uh, GPS. But what I do really like about this is instead of really fumbling with uh, this screen here and learning how to use it, it does come with an app and a very intuitive app where I can go ahead and set all my settings from there and uh, just makes my life a heck of a lot easier uh, utilizing the app as opposed to utilizing the actual screen that's here. But you do have both of those options. This camera does have a battery, but it doesn't last very long. It basically uh, allows you to be able to cycle down so when you do shut off your engine, it's able to power down in, let's say, about five seconds, so you don't ruin the data that you have on your SD card, which, uh, as you know, most of them are relatively finicky when it comes to the micro SD cards. So you do want to be careful with them, and it's cool that they do have that built-in option. This dash cam has a small form factor, which is definitely something that I was looking forward to. I don't want anything cumbersome, let's say, uh, sticking on my windshield. And uh, the specs on it are excellent. It comes with a micro USB cable in order to power it and it's a lengthy cable so if you do want to hardwire it that is also an option or you just can uh, plug it in basically to your cigarette lighter and it does come with one of those adapters so that you could hook up your USB cable as far as mounting there are also a couple options there is a suction cup which is what I chose to use and there also is an adhesive option uh, where you can actually stick it or uh, glue it to your dash or to your windshield so you do have a couple of mounting options right out of the box this dash cam also comes with a manual so any questions that you might have as far as features and where to find them uh, you can go ahead and look in the manual this dash cam also comes with various driver assist features from headlight reminders to uh, being fatigued while driving so you can set all of those uh, options and settings or you can just leave them off depending on once again what works best for you as far as retrieving the files once they are stored in here you can go ahead and just hook it up to your uh, laptop pc computer and be able to turn your uh, dash cam into a mass storage device and be able to pull your files off that way or you can also download them via the app to your phone and be able to view them that way save them so once again plenty of options and the videos do look good relatively smooth great quality so so far after two weeks of using this dash cam i'm definitely impressed and it's certainly a keeper so once again as far as powering options i do have it in one of the ports in my car as far as the cigarette lighter that once i turn off my engine the actual port shuts off uh, so it's good for one thing because it'll save my battery uh, if i'm not starting my car for a few days and it's just sitting there i don't want the battery draining but on the other hand, if you do have the parking assist settings, it does need to be continually powered. Uh, so keep that in mind. You don't want to drain your battery. But for those times where you might be parking in sketchy scenarios and know that you're only there for uh, a short period of time, that's when you might want to hook it up to your active uh, port that stays powered on even with the engine off. So you do have some versatility when it comes to those options. But for me, I just keep it into that port. As soon as I start my car, dash cam starts, shut my car off, dash cam powers down. And it also features a Sony Starvis sensor that has a wide angle, 140 degree view, and also comes with a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. And it supports up to a 512 gigabyte micro SD. The microphone on this little dash cam is also extremely impressive. Uh, there's not much audio that I can share with you because there's a lot of music in the background. There are a lot more details 
uh, when it comes to this uh, little dash cam. And I will put all those specifications in my blog post, so be sure to check it out. I will link it up in the top right now, and I will also pin it in the comment field below. So bottom line, if you're in the market for a dash cam that has all the features that you would require and then some, definitely take a look at this Orbit 960 by my Gecko Gear.